but she literally has Caliban her son. Thou best knowest what a torment I did find thee, when I had to let thee out, I thank thee, master. Thou art my I will rent him, and peg thee in his naughty entrails, till thou hast all the way to all quickness. Party, master. I will discharge thee. That's my noble master. What shall I do? Go make thyself an infidicity. Be subject to snow sight for thine and mine. Invisible to every eyeball else. Awake, dear heart. Awake. Thou no, hast slept well. Awake. The strangest of your story of heaviness in me. Shady old. Come on, go visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir, I do not love to look on. But as his, we cannot miss him. He does make our fire, fetch it on wood, and serves in offices that profit. <coughs> Have no vigor. 
So they are. My spirits, as in a dream, are all bound up. My father's loss, the weakness which I feel, the wreck of all my friends, nor this man's threats. To whom I am subdued are but light to me, might I but through my prison once a day. Behold this maid, space enough have I in such a prisoner. It works. Follow me. Be of comfort. My father is of a better nature, sir, than he seems by speech. This is unwanted to shall be. He shall be free as mountain winds, but then exactly do all points of my command to the syllable. was so far from Italy removed, I never again shall see her. Oh, that mine air bankles, and a on, what strange fish hath made his meal on me? Sir, he may live. I saw him beat the searches under him, and ride upon their backs. He trod the water. I do not doubt he came alive to land. No, no, he's gone. We have lost your son, I fear forever. Milan and Naples have more widows in them of this business making, than we bring men to comfort them. The faults are all. My lord Sebastian, the truth do speak God lacks and gentleness. And the time speaking. You rub the sword and you should bring the plaster. Very well. It's foul weather and it's all, good sir, when you are cloudy. Foul weather? Very foul. You let me sleep? I am very good. Go to sleep and hear us. What? Also soon asleep? I wish the miners would shut my thoughts. Find their time to do something. Weep you, my lord. The clouds are coming while you take your friends. And what you say? What a strange drowsiness possesses them. It is the quality of climate. Why does it not that our island sink? I find myself not disposed to sleep. Nor I. My spirit's an emerald. But with might, and yet methinks I see in my face. Thou should speak. The occasion speaks thee, and I see a crown dropping upon thy head. What? Are thou waking? Do you not hear me speak? I do. And surely it is a sleepy language thou speakest. What is it thou didst say? I am more serious than with my custom. For though this lord of weak remembrance hath they almost persuaded. For he is a spirit of persuasion, a king who stands on ground. This is impossible that he sleep in his wind. I have no hope that he undrowned. But well, what of that no hope? What great hope have you? Will you go with me that five down is drowned? He's gone. Then tell me, who's the next sheriff of Naples? What stuff is this house say you? Oh, that you bore the mind that I do. What a sleep with this fear advancement. Do you understand me? He thinks I do. I remember. He did so pledge your brother Prospero. True. And look how well my garment sit upon me. What for your conscience? Why, right, sir, well I that. I feel not this day in my pocket. Thy case, dear friend, shall be my precedent. As thou battest Milan, I'll come by Naples, draw thy sword. Draw together, and when I win my hand, do you the like to fall upon Gonzalo? Oh! But oh, one more. My master, through his art, perceives the danger that you, his friend, are in, and sends me forth. Now, good lady, preserve the king. Why? How now? Pull away. Why are you drawn? Wherefore this ghastly looking? What's the matter? While well, we stood here securing your repose, even now we heard a hollow burst of bellowing, like bulls or rather lions. Did it not wake you? It struck my ear most terribly. I, I heard nothing. Or well, told it didn't quite a month ago to make an earthquake. Sure it was a roar of a of lions. Heard you this, Gonzalo? Upon my honor, sir, I heard a humming. That strange one, too, which didn't wake me. I shake you, sir, and cry, as if we stand upon a guard, and then we quit this place. Let's draw our weapons. Lead off this ground, and let's make further search for my poor son. Heaven keep you, Lee for he is sure I the island. Lead away. Chance will not mind me. 
Here's another bush store shrub. To bear off any weather at all. And another storm brew. I'm here to sing either wind. Young black cloud, young huge one. If this should thunder as it did before, I know not where to hide my head. Young sea cloud cannot choose but fall by pinnacles. What have we here? A man or a fish? Dead or alive? A fish. It smells like a fish. A very ancient and fish like smell. A strange fish. Like it like a man, and fins like arms. Worm of a truck, I do not let loose my opinion. Hold it no longer. This is no fish, but an islander that have lately suffered a thunderbolt. Alas, the storm has come again. All white under his garter nut, there is no other shelter hereabouts. Misery awaits a man with strange bedfellows. I shall no more to see, to see. Here shall I die ashore. Oh, this is a very scurvy tune to sing at a man's funeral. Huh. Well, here's my comfort. Do not torment me, oh. Well, what's the matter? Uh, are we devils here? Do not torment me for thee. I'll bring my blood home fast. Since it is fit now, must not speak after the wisest. I shall pour some in thy mouth. I should know that voice. It should be, but he's drowned. And these are devils. Oh, defend me. Four legs and two voices. A most delicate monster. I will pour some in thy other mouth. Stop Doth thy other mouth call me? Oh, mercy, mercy! <laughs> this is a devil and no monster. Stephano, that be Stephano. Touch me and speak to me. For it is I, drink you up. Be not a beard, that good friend drink you up. If thus be drink you up, come forth. I'll pull thee by the lesser legs, and if any do be triculos, oh, 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 these are many! <laughs> thou art tricular indeed! <laughs> oh, art thou not drowned, Stephano? Oh, 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 really, do not turn me about. My stomach is not constant. That's the great God, and very celestial liquor. I will yield to him. How did thou stay? I swim ashore, man, like a duck. I can swim like a duck. I'll be sworn. <laughs> Here, just a book. Thou canst swim like a duck. Thou art made like a goose. Hast thou not dropped from heaven? Oh, out on the moon. I do assure thee, I was a man on the moon when time was. I'll show thee every fertile inch of the island, and I'll kiss thy foot, I for thee. Be my god. By this light, a most perfidious and drunken monster. But God's asleep, no rub his bottle. I'll kiss thy foot. I'll swear myself thy subject. Come on then, down and swear. I shall lock myself to death with this puppy-headed monster. I can find it in my heart to beat him. I'll show thee the best springs. I'll pluck thee berries. I'll fish for thee and get thee wood enough. A plague upon the tyrant that I serve. Wilt thou go with me? I prithee, lead the way without any more talking. Trinco, the king in our company, else being drowned, we will inherit here. Here, bear my bottle. Farewell, master. Farewell. Farewell. A howling monster, a drunken monster. Oh, brave monster, lead the way. This, my main task, would be as heavy to me as odious, but the mistress which I serve quickens what's dead and makes my labors pleasures. Oh, she is ten times more gentle than her father's crab, and he's composed with harshness. I must remove some thousands of these logs and pile them up upon a sore injunction. My sweet mistress weeps when she sees me work and says, such baseness had never let the executor. Alas, now, pray you, work not so hard. Pray, set it down and rest you. It's body is as hard as said. He stayed for these three hours. Oh, most dear mistress. The sun will set before I shall discharge what I must strive to do. If you'll sit down, I'll bring you a moth pile. Pray, give me that. I'll carry you to the pile. No, precious creature. I'd rather crack my sinews, break my back, than you should such dishonor undergo while I sit lazy by. You look wearily. No, no, mistress. Tis fresh morning with me. When you are by at night, I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I've broken your has to say so. Admire, Miranda. Indeed, the top of aberration. Worth what's dearest to the world. Oh, you, so perfect and so peerless, are created of every creature's best. I would not wish any companion in the world but you, nor could I ask you to form a shape set yourself to like them. But I cry on something too wide. My father's precepts, I do there and forget. I am in my condition. A prince, Miranda. 
I do thank the king. Hear my soul speak. The very instant that I saw you did my heart fly to your service. There is that to make me slave to it. And for your sake, I am this patient law man. He loved me. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. I have a fool to speak at what I'm glad of. A fair encounter with two most rare affections. I am your wife, if you'll marry me. My mistress, dearest, and I thus humble ever. My husband, then? Yes. In mine, with my heart in it. And now farewell to half an hour. <laughs> <laughs>
will not, nor cannot use such vigilance as when they are fresh. I say tonight no more. What harmony is this? My good friend, hark! Marvelous. Sweet music. Did the neighbor of this attack? Will they believe me? They vanish strangely. No matter. Since they have left their dreams behind, or we have stolen.
I had gathered from him. My charms cut not, my spirits obey, and Ted goes upright with his carriage. How's the day? On the sixth hour, my lord, at which time you said our work should cease. I did say so when I first raised the tempest. How fares the king and followers? Confined together, all prisoners, sir, and cannot budge to your release. The king was brothering wars by all three distracted. The remainder mourning over us. But mainly, can he determine, sir, the good old Lord Gonzalo? His tears run down his beard, the glitter drops, and heaves and breathes. So strongly that your charm works them that it cannot be helpful, your affections would become tender. Doss up, you so spirit? Mine would, for I am in. And mine shall. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. I'll fetch them, sir.
What does this mean? Was that was the play? By a moral providence, she's mine. I chose her when I could not ask my father for his advice, nor thought I had one. She is daughter to this famous Duke of Milan, of so often I have heard renowned, but never saw before, of whom I have received a second wife, a second father. This lady makes him to me. I am nervous, but oh, how oddly will it sound that I must ask my child for forgiveness. There, sir, stop. What is that birth and a remembrance of the heaviness that's gone? I feel we wept, for sure spoke ear this. Look down your gods, and on this couple drop a blessed crown. I say amen, you follow. Give me your hands. Let grief and sorrow still embrace his heart that doth not wish you for. Be it so. Amen. Come hither, spirit. Take Caliban and his companions free. A tight spell. How fares my grace, sir? There are yet missing of your company. Some few odd lads that you remember not.